Today we'll be assembling the Levitating Train, project number five of Dowling Magnet's Science Discovery Levitation Kit. Most of the materials are included in the kit, but you will need a few household items. Included in the kit are two half inch by 23 and one half inch long high force magnetic strips, two half inch by five and seven eighths inch long high force magnetic strips, five wood blocks, six plastic angles, and a compass. The household items you will need are two quarters, a ruler, a pencil, masking tape, and contact cement. First, line up four of the wood blocks end to end. Place tape on the breaks between the blocks and turn the combined piece over. Mark two guidelines spaced 5 eighths of an inch from the edges of the blocks. These will help to assure proper spacing when the plastic angles are mounted. Apply a light coat of contact cement to the wood blocks. Make sure to apply it only to the 5 8 inch space between the edge of the block and the guideline. Set aside and allow the cement to dry for 10 minutes. While that's drying, apply a light coat of contact cement to one of the outside sides of the six plastic angles. Set aside and allow the cement to dry for 10 minutes. Once everything is dry, mount the first three plastic angles to the top of the wooden blocks. Do not place them past the guidelines. Take the remaining wooden block and tape the two quarters to one of the sides of the block. This will be used to make sure there is enough space between the plastic railings. Before placing the last three plastic angles, place the block with quarters on the track. Now, place the other plastic angle into place. Take your time with this step and carefully make sure there is enough space between the plastic angles. If the plastic angles are too far apart, the train will have too much space and will not levitate properly. If it is too narrow, the train will get stuck.
Next, you will need both 23 and a half inch long high force magnetic strips and the compass. Place the compass next to the strip to determine which side is north. Mark this side as north with the masking tape and repeat with the other magnetic strip. Apply contact cement to the south side of the magnetic strips and allow to dry for 10 minutes. Also apply a light coat to the inner side of the plastic angles attached to the wooden blocks. Once dry, place the magnetic strips along the inner side of the plastic angles, making sure to line it up with the marked guidelines. Now it's time to create the train block. Remove the quarters and tape you attached to it earlier so the block is now bare. Take the compass and find the north side of the half inch by five and seven eighths inch long high force magnetic strips. Place a light coat of contact cement on the south side of the magnetic strip and place it near the edge of the wooden block. Repeat this for the other magnetic strip and allow to dry. The magnetic strips on the train block should be spaced wider than the track magnetic strips. Once complete, you can now customize your train and track. Have fun! This has been the Dowling Magnets Science Discovery Kits instructional video on project number 5, the Levitating Train. The Science Discovery Kits will celebrate their 20th anniversary in 2013. Dowling Magnets would like to thank the inventor and creator, Dean Knight of Sonoma Valley High School in Sonoma, California, for all his work on these top-selling science kits. Follow us on Twitter at Dowling Magnets. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Dowling Magnets. And for more product information, please visit DowlingMagnets.com.